Hello everyone, how are you doing? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Serena. I do handbag and fashion videos. And if you are interested in this kind of content, I would really welcome you to subscribe to my channel and join the family. So today I am coming here with another unboxing. I know it's kind of crazy. I think, yeah, three unboxing in a row. Um, I felt like I'm probably done for the year <laughs> unless of course my AMS sales associate offers me like a Birkin or Kelly but I really don't think it's going to happen you only have one quarter left and I have a baby to deliver so I may not have the luck to get a new bag but nevertheless I started to branching out to other brands for example Dior so today I am coming here with a Dior unboxing I had a, such a great time um, at the Valley Fair uh, which is you know in the um, Bay Area San Francisco Bay Area um, shopping mall and the sales associates were super super friendly very nice so I picked up um, a handbag and also a um, little accessory so let's unbox the little accessory first and here is the little beautiful Dior box Dior receipt and let me show you what I got um, I've been eyeing on the Dior earrings for such a long time and they have different styles and this particular one is the earring with the Dior on the bottom. How pretty they are. It's just so, so pretty. So I'm gonna try on and show you how they look like on me. I just put them on and if you can see, it has like Dior um, dangling around and very shining and sparkling and I really really love it um, I've been recently kind of into pearls a lot and I know this is just costume jewelry it's not real pearl but um, they really looks high quality and um, I just like you know the Dior design a lot so let me share the price it's $740 US dollars before tax and um, I don't really buy costume jewelry a lot but if I you know go dress up a little bit I kind of want to have something felt that feels a little bit special um, and in other times I actually prefer fine jewelry um, on my ear you know um, so that's that and the other unboxing is super exciting two years ago probably I bought my first Celine um, Ava bag and I've been using that bag like non-stop and I think for two years in a row it's one of my top five most used handbag I just love it so much and um, so easy just sling on your shoulder and you know fits everything so I'm super super happy with my Celine Ava I was thinking to get another one but then I don't I just don't like to repeat myself for the same back style that's why I was like what could be better for an underarm bag than a Dior saddle bag it comes with this beautiful blue color Dior bag and I'll show you the real unboxing This is my beautiful Dior saddlebag. This is just the regular size, not the mini size. I just love it so much. It has like a back pocket where I can actually easily slide my iPhone Pro Max phone to the back. It just peeks out a little bit, but you know, it doesn't matter as long as it stays secure. And this one is a little different because it does have like Christian Dior lettering on the front and everything is the um, Dior fabric, um, no leather actually at all. And even the handle is also the Dior oblique fabric. Um, where there's another style was also mostly Dior um, oblique, but the strap 
here the two strap here is um, leather and the shoulder handle is also um, leather this one is just all oblique I love 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 this and I was a little worried about how much this bag can fit but surprisingly it's pretty good well, let me show you what I can fit um, I have my iPhone Pro Max easily slide in and I have my hand sanitizer my car holder my six ring key holder my lipstick my hand cream and my sunglasses um, they all fit in very well and you can potentially fit more like a couple more lipstick and usually I also bring a pen and they all fit perfect and this is pretty strong magnetic closure so it's like no fuss um, super super easy one of the complaints uh, from customers before is they have you have to buy extra strap if you want to put it on your shoulder or crossbody so Dior I guess listened to the voices of their customers and decided to come up with this one with strap but for me I mainly just want to use this size of um, saddlebag for an underarm bag um, and you know the bottom it's funny that it looks like this you know with a little a curve it looks like this and it's actually can expand a little bit it does have a little bit of give and let me show you how it looks like on me sorry my big bumps I love how the detail is like the or here so I'll show you some pictures of me wearing this bag while I was in the store also compare with um, the black version leather version on the screen somewhere um, I really love this I think it's such a easy you know no fuss handbag and I can see myself using this a lot I don't know why Dior doesn't keep its value but it's such a great bag and um, you know although it's just all fabric but the quality the hardware you know like seeing so many Chanel MS bags like sometimes when I get a other designer houses bag or you know contemporary bag sometimes I feel literally underwhelmed a little bit but for Dior it's definitely at par with other handbags and the design is so unique but classic and timeless I love 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 this one and with my earring I had a really great time at Dior boutique and I hope you guys like this unboxing video if you do please don't forget to give me your thumbs up and if you also own the Dior saddlebag please let me know what you think of it because I think people have pretty extreme opinions either they love it or they hate it so <laughs> I'd like to know which team you are on so uh, leave your comment down below please and I will see you in my next one bye